Hi, I'm Blake, equipment designer here at Kathmandu, and I'm going to show you how to pitch the Retreat 40, as well as some simple handy tips to make the job easy as. So firstly, you want to choose a nice flat spot for your tent. You want to avoid any low-lying areas where water or puddles can form, and any immediate trees where bird droppings or tree sap can damage the fly sheet of your tent. So make sure there's no sharp objects around, such as sticks and stones, and you want to take in consideration the position of your tent, and ensure the back of the tent is into the prevailing wind. Lay out all the parts of your tent and tuck away any loose storage bags so they don't blow away. Put some pegs in your pocket so you have them close at hand for quick pegging when required. Lay out the inner tent with the ground sheet facing down and peg out all four corners so the floor is taut. Put the pegs in the ground on a 45 degree angle for maximum hold. If the ground is too hard to push the pegs in with your hands, use a rubber mallet or rock. Don't use your feet because you'll probably bend the pegs. Put together the black poles one section at a time. Don't allow the shock cord to pull and snap the pole sections together as this can cause sharp edges and damage the poles or even the fly sheet. Make sure all sections are connected properly for maximum strength. Insert the poles into the colour matched pole sleeves. Push the poles through rather than pull to make sure the pole sections stay connected. Insert a holding pin into the end of one of the black poles. Walk over to the other end, gradually arching the pole and secure the pole by inserting the holding pin at the other end as well. Then repeat this process for the other pole. Now put together the red pole and secure on the pole sleeves and eyelets above the entrance. Do up the pole clips. Unfold the fly sheet and position it over the inner tent, making sure you have the main entrance on the correct side. Attach all Velcro wraps and ties on the inside of the fly sheet to the corresponding poles. Secure the fly sheet with the side release buckles in four corners of the tent and tension the fly by pegging out and adjusting the webbing. Then peg out all remaining peg loops. Make sure the guy lines are pegged out following the natural direction of the guy fins and not secured too close to the tent itself in order to provide maximum support. Peg out the lines first before tensioning them. Once they're all out, walk around the tent evenly applying tension so it remains nicely balanced and taut. Lastly, don't forget to adjust your guy ropes over time when required. You're now good to go. Your home away from home's up. You can focus on having a great holiday. Enjoy.